so a couple of things. First off, remove view. We remove clean up here. Yeah, fair enough it goes through each of these that exist, but the only time this should act actually disappear is when the final view is removed. So, f you know, this it's important that this is here because cleanup may be called, maybe this will be closed unexpectedly. It should be able to be closed with multiple views. But when it comes to remo removing a view, I should really check and see is it time to remove this itself? And I say if views empty self remove. That's one thing. The other thing is, I didn't intend for this to be see-through. I didn't intend for any of them to be see-through. In fact, I think that individual gadgets, when they draw themselves, will draw a, a black border first. They should draw it before returning, in fact. And I guess that'll be a G-draw GUI image square uh, 0 0.0 0 0.0 I'm talking face width here uh, face width comma face height comma g color black av Blend mode opaque. Okay, let's have another go. I'm going to get my thing to start printing out little uh, messages in blue, the blue messages, when it fails to do things. I'm terrible with a debugger. I'm just it's shameful. No, that's more like it. And look at that. I just moved the mouse button. And everything comes back. You know something? It's obscene how much of that just worked. can't do anything else. What happens if I load image? Look at that. There's a little thing in there. OK. And I can exit it. Right. Loads of this is working. That is insane. What's not working is a Pung thing scale starts at 0 when really it should start at 1. And obviously, I'd say there's something wrong here. Go from not point one to two. Point not not one to two. Okay, right. First off, I'm just going to run it again and see what happens if I get a one-to-one -one scale thing, because I have a feeling. Something right here, and it might be in my oh, in my uh, my matrix, com you know, my update matrix code. I'm very tired now, though, so I'm expecting to make a lot of kind of crazy errors. Honestly, the amount that it's correct so far is pretty stupid. <laughs> well, okay. Many 
can do a little thing like that with the right mouse button. You know, I spot some errors here. But uh, it's not the end of the world. Let's have another look at it. Update matrix, eh? What hap What exactly is going on inside update matrix? But also... I mean, I've got to assume this is actually working. updates gadgets but not updates matrix as I notice and it does it should I think at this point update matrixes and I'll probably just do it here as well for the sake of I'm gonna have another little look at this and, uh, Although I don't think updating the matrix is the thing that's, you know, getting the it's getting the matrix updated all the time. Uh, probably what will happen is it'll just look crazy from the moment I open it first. Yeah, and still I can do that awesome amount of zooming, which is um, not even working. Oh, I can just zoom in and in, or that is absolutely bad. If cover gadget equals self. Okay, right. If mouse button down, I think it should be for starters. Mouse button down. Okay. All right. Let's see uh, what happens now. Uh, this uh, render is larger than the size of the screen. Yeah, I can go insanely small and pretty big. Far too small. Show all. Is that the way it should be? Whoa. Better. Show all. That's strange to me, but I suppose maybe that is the way it is. Except, of course, it isn't the way it is. I've drawn it all wrong. One to one. This works. That's nice. If I just click one to one again, show all. Show all has to center it. That's an important thing. So a lot of this appears to be working. Now, if I click this, nothing happens. Okay, well, I'm not that surprised by that. Open latest render. Okay. Load image. That makes it a bit clearer, kind of what I what we're I am and I'm not looking at. Uh, I don't know if it's that clear whether or not. No, I don't know. Okay, so I don't want to zoom nearly as far out as that really, and I want to be able to zoom closer in. Now. Why am I drawing it thatly? Where is finished draw? There's a problem. And I'll just run it again. I think that's it. I 
I doubt I'll be able to hide these gadgets either. I don't think I'm getting any work call on the actual image viewer gadget. Yeah, that's more like it. no space to open latest render. I guess I'll just change that to latest render. Or show latest. Show all one to one can just uh, set the offset to zero. Most important, set the offset set to zero. And close closes it. This is looking pretty crazy. So what happens, crazily working, I, I mean, so what happens if I say now, still render, render complete, image viewer, show all, render complete hangs around a little bit too long, in my opinion, and looks wrong now as well. But basically, that was that. Let me stick this up to that, I won't like it much. Yeah, but that looks just exactly like this. There's no save image button. That's another problem. I have a feeling it might be just behind load image. But I'm extremely pleased so far. I suppose I better keep an eye on the task manager. 51, 43 megabytes. Now that looks very, very like it's doing the right thing. It was up at 51 a moment ago. I open the image viewer, it loads up that, takes a big chunk, it should. 50. I'm going to have to fix it so I'm opening more images. That's crazy. And then if I uh, close that, does it chunk back down? I'll give it a few moments. I'm never. Well, it did. It might lose a bit more. The garbage collection of monkey is sort of, I don't know, spread out in some way. But so far, that looks... One to one. Show all. Yeah, it looks really like it is... Uh, I don't think I want it doing anything. I think I'm going to take off. Oh, mit ma the mit mapping is coming into play there big time. Okay, so not zooming out as far, zooming in further. The, oops, I should have had a little look at that before I quit. But work, not zooming in as far down, no, not zooming out as far. So just down to a tenth, say that's even that is too far. I think I think down to point two five. And I think, be, am I getting this the right way around? Being able to zoom up to 10, say 20. And actually, I want this to be larger. We'll see how that goes. That's one thing. What was the other? Yeah, the other, one of the others, anyway, was that show all. Both of these had to set the oops, uh, off set set 0 .0 .0 0 0 .0. and here off set set 0 .0 0 .0. Now the save button Well, okay, so let me check in update gadgets and see if I'm doing something wrong. If show controls flag is true and material save button should be shown. If material is not, save button will be hidden. That seems right. Okay, so it's shown. 
has a response. It has a new button with save image at CXCY button width button height. CY minus equals minus, not CY minus equals. Now, so let me see. The, I had intended this work method that is part of the gadget, part of any gadget. Hang on. Show all. Looks hideous because of that. There's the save image. Save image goes to recursive image, recursive image. I'll save this bad boy as woohoo. I want to display somewhere on that. Let me load an image. I'll load a cursor image. Check it out. Show it all. Show it one to one. Let me scroll around it. I can zoom far in and see that there is fuzziness there. And I can zoom out that far. And the speed of this zoom looks a lot better. I'm going to employ this on the main window. It's got, I mean, the I'm just not paying attention to the scale and the speed of it in the other one, or in either of them. So I'm actually I'll make this maybe a little bit. S don't know, don't know. Anyway, one to one, show all. Okay. Load image. Woohoo. I can't believe it. How nice and easy to use is Monkey. I should stop being so suki to it. But it's just so easy. Open latest render. Bad news. Did it work? One to one. And this disappeared. It didn't... Uh, it's because sh it's showing the latest render. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I gotta have some way of saying show the latest render. Yeah, okay. When you open it up. Also, it's still doing. I feel like frames. Windows, everything is still running in the backdrop. I maybe shouldn't get too anxious about it. It doesn't seem to be, you know, there it is, back to exactly what I would usually expect it to be spending. Uh, how do I put it? Oh, I, uh, back to what it'd be, you know, how much memory it would be usually using. Now, okay, I need to do an experiment. First off, I will have open latest written there. And I really guess that hmm. right. First off, first off, first off here open latest. Secondly, default flags. Hmm. Is there none? Yeah. Thirdly, what happens if I just say npg event response mm. response this it's not exa I don't find it confusing doing this uh, I'll, and I won't make it not work but a response and it 
it's not to override. It's just to do this e oops GUI is space event. I'm not actually going to use the event. I just want to steal these things responses. The Pung gadgets will generate responses every time the mouse is over them. But also they're using the work method as opposed to their own responses. They take the responses from their own gadgets, except the close response. So this should be set event response, I think. Okay. So this is a weird little thing to do, but I'm going to give it a go as a way of getting the image viewer to be the thing that collects these keyboard. You know, and I'm I, sh I, sh I could be looking for the events, the key events, you know, but I'm not. Just looking to. Mm. Hang on a sec. I'm sorry, I'm just going through the logic in my mind again. Ugh, doesn't matter. Let's just try it. Too tired to figure out logic. Before I look at this, how's my time? 22 minutes. Okay, well these things still work. That, the mip mapping. Excellent. I'm glad to have a pixel perfect, that's what I want. And then able to show one to one, just scroll around it and show all. And now some things worked, some things didn't. It didn't draw the image. Then this bit worked. Then I was able to close this and this. Let's have another little look at that. When I push space, first off, that works. I'm able to hide those things. When I push return, not having an image shouldn't stop it drawing the backdrop. That's obscenely good how much that's working, but inside Pung Gadget, finish draw. See, I don't get that. I'm really, oh dear, honestly mystified by that. Um, I mean, the thing looked the right size. And I don't know how... I'm not exactly... It's like this is being drawn because it was being drawn for the other one. I mean the black the the black backdrop of the other image. Oh no 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 that's not really true. There's nothing there. But can I just load an image? I can. And this one, this one is simply not drawing the backdrop at all. Interesting. Why? <laughs> it has this problem, but honestly, I'm not going to get too dis disturbed about it. 
why is that not drawing the backdrop? I open another, no backdrop. That's kind of funny. The show all looks like it works, it's fitting them correctly. But I'm distressed, I am distressed. Everything else about it is lovely, I must admit. But this... Oh, no, I think face width should be right. Oh, no, 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 no. This should be face left. Ah, oh, thank goodness I thought of this. Face top. I'm just sort of drawing at the top left of the screen. It appeared to be working initially because a, that first view always appears at the top left of the screen. I won't joke. I'm stunned by how much this appears to be just about basically working almost already. And in this little half hour video, I think I'm about to pretty much decide why don't I do another little, just a little test. I do have, there's a one or two little tiny things like if I render still, render complete, image viewer, there it is. Got to do something about the render complete now. It's more obvious that it's just a little thing that's stuck on. But here it is. That show all could use a bit more space. One to one. Show all. Show us that. Add another image. Yeah. Load image. Recursive image. Add another one. Load image. Woohoo. Scenes had no problem. I guess now it'll be taking a bit more memory. Yep, up to 62. I'll be hoping, aiming to go back down to about 45. This is just kind of cool, almost. That's extremely low res looking. Let me come back to just looking at it. But that's the way it is, I suppose. That's really, actually, kind of quite a bit smaller than I was imagining it would be. Okay, I'm going to try 256, oops, 256 by 256. And I still want you to get it all. And let's have a look at it. Close, render, still, done. Image. Oh, right, see, that did not work, did it? First off, it seemed to take a long time, and this is not. How's my, uh, no, it's still 46 megabytes or something. Hmm. Well, I may be taking a long time because of any number of reasons. But that... Oh, there it is this time. I mean, that is it now, for sure. Or if I take this like this. That worked again. Didn't seem to work at one point. This button shouldn't be here just now because this is the latest. And I need some piece of information on the screen saying something like showing latest uh, or showing, 
you know, um, well, what's the term? Showing, uh, or, or the file name, sorry, I'm distracted by what's going on in front of me. This looks good though, this looks very good. And this is the latest, and I can close it, and I can do this, and I can say render still, render complete, image viewer, there it is. I'll do some things, like I'll sort that, what is that? It's a slightly like, I just have to do a trick, basically. I will live to regret uh, having so much freedom to open unlimited numbers of them. I might probably just put a limit of five or something on. This is pretty much exactly how I wanted it to work though. The buttons look very hideous against this background. I could change that, I could make them, oh, what could I do? I could give them a white font and I could a, make them invisible, in fact, that's probably not a bad idea. Give them a white font and just make them of style zero. Uh, problem with a white font is against a white backdrop, they will disappear. I can make them special buttons. I could give them a little uh, outline kind of thing. Don't know. I suppose immediately I will fix the this problem. And that occurs when, excuse me. When does it occur? It occurs when the GUI, someone clicks on view button. Now what I want is to be able to say that to the image viewer. And when the image viewer gets that, it knows what P really means. And it's if P equals latest, P equals, oh no, 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 no. say if p uh, well what's a like an elegant way to do this to say select p no no this will do okay if p P equals latest. Uh, what is it? F V. This all I had. Update matrix. Showing latest flag. How is it? When does it decide? Have I just missed something here? No, no, I haven't completely missed something here. It's somewhere in response. Yeah. All right. Okay. If your origin equals. It's only when you click it. Okay, well, 
I can build it into new fine. Uh, if I can find new again, it's here. So I'm assuming that by the time you're newing these bad boys, uh, oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. I'm so sorry for my future self listening to this. the hell am I doing? Oh man, the extra confusion and doubt about where to put things is caused by because I have this image viewer right here. What I want to say is if you open the image viewer with latest, this first thing is load pung at dir plus is it latest recent ah. man don't like doing it this way. Now that I get down to it, it's just an, an annoying thing. Latest image file, fine. And F the showing latest flag equals true. I think that's just what I'm going to do. And just, just to remind myself down here in response, load pung, it's latest pung. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to run it one more time and have a look. Okay. Yeah. And for what it's worth, I'm taking a bit of a risk here because I haven't tested this, but this is going to be the last time I run it, I think, with this in this video, so I may as well just see if it'll go with the debugger off, just for the sake of tripping along. So, what am I expecting now? I'm expecting the, when you click that button for the open latest button not to appear immediately and then you could I'm hoping I'll be able to load uh, a file and it'll reappear or I open a new view and it will appear click it and it'll disappear what else am I hoping I'm hoping that, actually, what else do I need to happen? It took a minute to compile that. First time in a long time, I suppose. Well, a lot of changes happened since compiling it last, the debugger. Anyway. I'm going to get back to something good. What was that? 1920. This probably could be 1080. Yeah. Don't need to be that big. Okay. That's annoying. Anyway. Oh, yeah, it is annoying. I'll have to think about this. Sometimes when changes happen here, this needs updated. That single thing, particularly. Anyway, 8. If I open image viewer just now, hey, I get 2. Okay, close everything. 
run it again. Don't like it, but anyway. Okay, now if I still render complete, brand new render, show me it, show all, and there it is, show it one to one, and there it is, all its blocky glory, and it's not showing the show latest, I need to have a, a clearer message on screen saying showing whatever. What am I doing now? I'm trying out doing this and I can see open latest and load image. If I load image the cursor image I get this. If I push space I get rid of everything. I can move these around crazily. Show all is just too crammed in there. What would be better? I open latest I get this back straight away load image, this, open a new one, load image, woohoo, basically, I change this to open latest, now there's a problem, this is the latest, that was the latest, look at this, there's also a little sliver of screen, sliver of screen showing through there. I can solve that problem, but ah, there's still some problem though with the. Look at that. I had to click it twice. It's because I think in Pung Gadget response. Yeah, I'm not updating. And here, I wonder if I should just like when are you if you consider, consider. Cancel this. Oops, these should be on the outside, I think. No, on the inside of this. You shouldn't bother showing latest or updating gadgets or anything like that. Unless you actually load the pung. And that happens here. But also. This should happen there as well. Is there not something I'm doing somewhere? Nah, that's a range in the other one. Where I... Actually, yeah, there is. It's load pung. In load pung, I have to say material, do the showing latest material, show latest flag, showing latest flag. Oh no, 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 no. So, yeah, in this case, this applies. In this case, it only changes state when something loads. It might not have been shown in Lake's flag before, anyway. Okay, I'm wittering a little bit, but this sort of makes sense. I was wondering if I should just, um, oh, never mind. Okay, I am going to stop very soon. That's 45 minutes. I'm pretty much delighted with the way that's gone together. And I'll have to think.
about one or two little details next, in fact. With the way that is going together. Now that doesn't say open latest. Now that does say open latest, it hasn't got rid of it. Then it does. When I load image, woohoo. Then I open latest and it works. I get rid of it, I open it up, it still thinks I can open latest. Ugh, oh, dearie me. It doesn't make, well, th you know, I obviously did try to stop it doing that. Image viewer new. Okay, also I have to say. This all makes sense. FP, okay, here. think of all the little possibilities here. If FV uh, material This is like this is crazy. I should be able to say in FV I should be able to pass latest into FV dot load pong and it should know. In fact, that's what I should be doing in the actual. Oh man, okay, look, this is a, like a little detail, which is annoying, but it is important. For now, I'm very pleased with everything that's happened. I will sort out this little detail. I'll do it all inside Pung Gadget. And I will also spend some time sorting out the blue bar message system so that it will appear um, so that it can a, appear consistent even as you move into the image viewer and also think about giving information on the screen about what image is currently being shown in the image viewer whether that is the latest image the latest render or you know, in any in, in any pung uh, pung gadget, whether it's it's the latest render or whether it's a loaded image, in which case I display it file name. What a load of chat! But those are the things that I will do next time.